Oh, what's going on? Yeah. Can you hear me good? And this is Smokey. Uh, I'm doing another interview special, and I like to introduce a Super Dingoes. He's known for uh, making SML and everything else. Introduce yourself. Hello, right, everybody. What's going on? No. How? Hello, everybody. How's it going? Uh, I, I brought you on my show to ask you a bunch of questions. I've been trying to get you on here for like probably, probably more, about two years now, and I finally got you. But um, yeah, I've been busy with life. Yeah. And I did an interview with that call interviewer guy, and then uh, I don't know what happened. The guy who supposedly says I'm ripping him off, even though I've been doing this for longer than him. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I missed that one kid, that call the time kid. He was awesome. The guy was like, okay, guys, all right, here's like more interviews here. And then I watched the UWO and the SNS show, and I have the posters on my wall. He's a great <laughs> That was crazy. <laughs> it don't feel that long ago. It's amazing how we can go forward from 2007 when I met y'all, and all the way now to 2011. And it's basically like we we all shut down a little bit, but we ch we still try to have fun as much fun as possible. But it is it's, the older you get, is it, it's, it's different because of time and everything else. Yeah, it's just the fact that time happens and your life happens, and with me, I just got more busy with life and all that kind of stuff, so I barely even play video games these days as it is, and right now, we just did the whole, this last season as pretty much a, you know, extra lull season for no reason at all. Just, no, We just did it because we felt like it. That's really about it. Yeah, plus, y'all didn't want to leave the season undone. Y'all wanted to finish the season. So I didn't go out, like, mid-season or something like that. Y'all wanted to just finish the season. Yeah, basically for the most part we accomplished what we wanted to accomplish in 2007 and 2008 and that was to be the best and we were the best at that time and that's all that mattered to me and now that we've proven what we've proven already that we need to do I'm just doing this extra season just to do it just because it's fun, just because it's something to do Yeah, just that's the main thing to have fun with some people take, I admit I have took the thing too seriously over the years but I have my reasons to do what I did and etc. But we all do, do this for fun and sometimes some people cannot understand that. You know? Yeah. That's the thing that bothers me about the thing. I think I got kind of upset about it about a year ago. You know, that drama. And then uh, what happened? I don't even remember what happened. Something happened where I made an episode mocking like other leagues or something. And it was like really just a joke and everybody was like, that's so funny! And then like one person got offended and then they're like, oh my god, he's right. That was so mean. Grr, so they got all mad and it's, it's called bandwagon. Yeah. <laughs> so I think at, ever since that point, I just stopped really caring. And then people just got all like, "Oh my God! Like I'm mad about everything you said, and you're such an evil person, and blah 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 blah." And then they got all mad, and then I think like half them up for the other form or something like that. Yeah, it's a thing I announced a few weeks ago that I'm retiring Smokey. You know that call, my call. I'm retiring him at the end of the year. I just felt like it, it was the time for him to go, you know. I've, I've been in call for like, since like 2007. I started call, my call in 2008. But I feel like I accomplished enough and I don't really have to prove nothing. So Yeah, that's pretty much my whole opinion on the whole entire thing, really. Like, pretty much we do, we've been doing this. Me and my friend have been doing this for like eight years. No, nine or almost ten years. You, you should and be started like 2000 or something like that. 2002, yeah. yeah. And then uh, we pretty much just made the videos for me and him for the past, until maybe 2006, we started just doing the videos. Like, I make a tape and then I'll give it to him at like school the next day. He'd watch it, then he'd make his own tape, and then he'd give it to me, and then we watch it, and then that was basically about it. So we weren't really supposed to never have an audience with this stuff. Yeah, and then. This is like the minute time you explain this to everybody. <laughs> huh? I said, you talked about this like a million times on your questionnaire thing. Everybody always asking you uh, how you got started. But I want to ask you, how do you feel from doing Call Now as to, as you said, 2007, 2008? How, how does it change, you know, the feeling of doing it? Uh, I guess it changed in the way of, I guess technology really has been one of the biggest changes with the video games changing. 
to me, that's the biggest factor on it. Back in 2007, 2008, back then, there was no story creator. There was no, like, you know how now the new games have story creator stuff? Yeah. Like, replaying moves and all that kind of stuff. Back then, we had to attack the games in order to use the backstage segments and stuff like that. And it was a lot, it was a lot just more detailed, I think. Because now you just, like, use a scene, like a generic scene, like, on the top of the ring. I don't know, to me it kind of takes away the funness of the whole entire thing. I like actually making my own scenes backstage. I think that was funner. And your yeah, technology was a big factor in the whole entire change. And plus, I think the atmosphere right then was different too. Like, back then I was just kind of like into it for the fun. It was like a fun thing to do. And nowadays, like, you know, people still are into it. We still get a decent amount of views, and that's good enough for me. I'll be good with like five views, honestly. I don't really care. But nowadays it's more into like, Politics for some reason, like oh ho ho, like you use this call, and then I'm mad at you because you use this person, and you made fun of my show. And it's always about it's, it's always about call politics. That's the reason I'm retired in a year. Because it ain't nothing about anybody else. It just I I I think it's time to call. It's always politics and everything else trying to say blah blah blah. He wins, so he automatically is you know he has a part in the writing or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just the fact that it got to that level where people are taking call leaks seriously, and the fact is that like, this is a nerdy habit anyway, and that the fact that we're sitting here playing video games and making shows, I think that's pretty sad in itself. Yeah, there ain't nothing wrong with um, making a, a, a comedy and a serious league against you want. There ain't nothing wrong with that. It just, some people takes it to an extreme level, but uh, people I hang out with, like, you know, you probably ain't really watching RCW or OFW or stuff like that. They they serious, but they make sure they have fun with it, and that's the reason yeah. I always hung out with them because they yeah. always had their own spin to it. Yeah, and that's the thing too. It's when it's fun, and when the person making it is actually having fun, you can tell. You can tell by the commentary. Like the person actually seems like they're into the matches. They seem like they're just having fun doing it. I watched a lot of shit, well, not really. I watched a bunch of shows back in 2009, I would say. And the guys were like, wow, there's a suplex from Johnny Luger. Oh my god, look at that. No, no I'm not that anyone wants to watch that. I mean, it's just not really entertaining to me. I can't really get into it. And then the fact that it's like, oh my god, you made fun of my guy, so now I'm going to get revenge on you by flogging your show down, and I'm going to take your channel down. I don't know. too well about that. Yeah, it's just... Everybody yeah, always does that thing. I think that's what ruined the ticket of the fun of it for me was that whole episode when we got flagged down, our channel got flagged down, and then we had to resubmit it back to YouTube and all that kind of stuff. It's just a bunch of, I don't know, it's retarded. The fact that it got to that point in itself is just kind of like, okay. Like, really, we're just making videos out of video games and talking over them and making little storylines out of them. That's like the entire point of this entire community. And I was and like, oh my else, god. And everybody else acts like it's like, if, if you, you try to have fun with doing something, then it gets the law to actually say certain things or do certain things, you know. And yeah. you just like, what the hell? It's just we just having fun here, and you are trying to act like it's World War Three or something. Yeah, that's the thing about it. I mean, I gotta, I gotta admit, I, I guess I got kind of involved in it too with the whole. What's that guy's name? The guy from Michigan with the uh, voice, Doctor Pizza, and oh, yeah. NGW. I forgot that guy's name too. I don't even know what happened. It should be. Yeah, the chubby dude, the nerdy, oh, Mercurius or whatever. I got kind of into it too, making fun of them. I thought the pizza was kind of like to make fun of it. I guess Mercurius got kind of like offended. And at the time I was kind of like, I don't really care. Huh? You know what happened to that guy, Dr. Pizza? I ain't heard from him in like two years. I have no idea. I think he's still in Michigan at the same trailer. Probably still desperate for the same five girls or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. But I used to make fun of him all the time. I think I just kind of make fun of him. I wasn't really trying to. Yeah, but yeah, just move on to the next question. Um, you just uploaded a video about this uh, interpromotional tournament uh, with, uh, I can't remember how many guys, so just explain to everybody and explain to what it is about, basically. Well, uh, damn. This is, uh, it was mainly, mainly Silent Guy's idea, more than mine. I think he's kind of doing it, like, as a side project for himself, whereas I'm more focused on, like, the main War and SmackDown episodes. But I think he wants to, um, make like a tournament, I guess, out of like all these random calls or whatever. Like someone submits a call for Xbox Live, then we download it. And then we're gonna make like a bracket. So I think kinda like the King of the Bitches thing we did like a couple years ago. And then yeah. they were just gonna like go from there and just like have a tournament like that. Like have two matches. I think I think it's gonna be totally